The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two great, excellent comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Man, you are... L- yeah. I didn't expect there to be actual audience. I, oh, yeah. There, I, yeah, didn't, there, there, yeah. I didn't either. I was in the middle of fucking saying something. You interrupted me, <laughs> rude prick. I'm not right. sorry. You are laying on the unlikability real thick today, Scotty. Oh, it's, it's, just it's unbearable. Wait. Just wait. We are, what, three seconds in? Yeah, you are like that. unbearable. Oh, wait till later. It's going to get worse. I don't want to. I'm going to go on home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave. Oh, mm-hmm. no. No. I'm out. But we also have another excellent stand up comedian. Uh, he. Uh, He's a good, good friend of the show, been a good friend of uh, Derek, myself, and Jeremy for uh, quite a few years. He is also another loser in the uh, Fantasy Football League that all three of us are in, or all four of us, four of us are in. I think I've won the consolation you did. tournament two or three years now. Oh, nice. I think three, two, row, two in a row at least. Nice. You get to fuck up the first pick again. Exactly. Uh, he is an excellent stand-up comedian. His name is Eric Von Riker. Welcome into the show for the very first time. I've actually been wanting to have you on the show for quite a while. Derek wouldn't have it. Derek would not allow it. Nope. We, had to, we had to wait for Derek to die. Yep. But thankfully, I'm glad to be mm-hmm. here. My face will be up here. <laughs> yeah. <soon enough. laughs> we'll just, it's By the way, we similar, have, just more beard. Yeah, we right. have some news about Derek. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he has sadly passed. <laughs> no. Yes, again. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Uh, couldn't but, stand himself, and so he couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> yep. Uh, but in his honor, um, or just to piss him off if he ever does watch this show, we have taken his Chicago Bears helmet that he loves so much. And because Von Riker just so happens to be a Green Bay Packers fan, yeah, he's got a cheese head on here. MVP. Oh, no, don't do it. Um, I mean, um, it, it's true. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, but anyways, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this podcast, this is an adult podcast where we like to make foul jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and it's a comedy podcast mainly. But we like to also use uh, foul language and make loud noises, so if you don't like that kind of thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. <sighs> but we got a lot of stuff to go over today. We've got a lot of sports that happened over the uh, the new year. I my least favorite joke on the face of this fucking planet is the last day of work before you have like New Year's break, and that motherfucker says, "See you next year." I hate that guy. I just hope Dale's going back to prison. That's oh, all I ever hope that means. God, I hate that joke. Pisses it's my me off. second least favorite joke next to <laughs> AKA Scooter McFuckstick. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, I don't care. I, is, I really is do. that T ball joke in the top ten? You think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely that, that's fucking gold. You're tired of it, but it's your, yeah, it's I am. Your mark. <laughs> I'm it's tired. Your I'm tired of getting spotted on the street and having to sign autographs <laughs> and shit. Um, who are all these people carrying around fucking teas <laughs> yeah, everywhere? Teas and little bitty bats. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they actually have me sign their tea. They carry it around. They lug around fucking home rubber home plates with teas on them. <laughs> Can you sign my tea? Can you sign my wiffle ball? But then you put your signature on each side of a hole so they don't get a full signature. <laughs> exactly. Right. Fuck yes. them a little bit. Exactly. I, I make that hole in there, the O. Yeah. You draw an exact replica of your anus <laughs> yeah. right there. Hairs and wrinkles oh, and everything. Oh, that's great. But it's weird that they'd have me do the tea part because I'm defensive. Yeah. Claire, you bring a glove, you dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be way easier to bring, bring a picture along. of a yes. small boy running much faster than you would expect yeah, yeah. from how chubby he is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually a skinny little kid. Oh, okay. Just you. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> No, that deserves that. That That deserves a round of applause. Congratulations for not being (laughs) part of Fat America until you chose to be. You chose it. That's right. Until I was introduced to video games. Be the you you were meant to be. That's right. We can always improve, which also includes gaining 150 to 200 pounds. That's right. (laughs) I mean, part of that is just becoming an adult. But I mean, and a lot of alcohol. What's yeah. that now? <laughs> I never. That's why he was kicked out of T-ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eleven years old, just chugging a forty. I, I was Wade Boggs before Wade Boggs. <laughs> Seventy-two beers in twenty-four hours. Oh. That's uh, 
At the that age was my T-ball at, at the age of six. He was the Ricky Williams seven, of seven, T-ball sorry. and Jack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also hold the T-ball record for stolen bases <laughs> <laughs> and stolen hearts. Yeah. That's right. He was fucking a lot of eleven-year-olds. He was also eleven. <laughs> oh my god! I got a lot of training bras thrown right. at me. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a lot to get to. We've got uh, obviously the the NFL regular season is is wrapping up. Unfortunately, it's the worst time of the year. But you get into the the playoffs so playoffs. Have, playoffs but we have to endure have week 18 <laughs> before we get there we'll talk about uh, a little bit of stuff about that we've got some more bad advice from jeremy we've got uh, overrated or underrated questions preguntas another draft and a shitty situation as always but before we get to that we've got to go over a week week recap tell uh tell what's going to happen over your last week and uh none other than the guest is going to go first today so eric von Riker. How was your last week, and who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm Eric Von Riker, really? comedian, uh, rent-to-own employee. Nice. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! extraordinaire. Um, yeah, we do sports nerd stuff and real nerd stuff. Um, <laughs> just just a lot of, like, working. I got the I got a couple of unexpected days off in the last week. Nice. Nice. Got to lay around with the wife. Cool. Eat too much, as per usual, the last yeah. two years. Um, got to watch the Packers beat a team we should have beaten. Badly. Very badly. We should have beaten the Ravens and the Browns by similar scores. Correct. But we like to let our let our foot off the throttle mm-hmm. a little bit. Uh, hopefully they get that shit <laughs> fixed up before the playoffs. But. Oh, Jeremy, I mean, I don't know what's worse. Do you, do you think Derek normal or Derek after the Packers win a Super Bowl is like the worst thing on the face of the fucking planet? I've never actually experienced him after the Packers are going to win a <laughs> Super Bowl. You didn't know him in 2010. I <laughs> don't think I'm going to want to be around <laughs> when that happens. Oh. No. No. Because I, I think, here's the thing is, I think Derek would rather the Bears never won a Super Bowl if it, and if it meant the Packers would never win one as well. He he likes seeing the Packers lose more than he likes seeing the Bears win. That mm-hmm. That is the Bears and the Vikings fans mm-hmm. in a nutshell. It's like if they can't accomplish it themselves, they don't want Big Brother to accomplish it either. Uh, yeah, that's, that's also true for Wichita State fans when it comes to KU, just so you know. But that is what it is. Uh, well, but, I mean, Chicago is a city where Cubs fans – hate White Sox fans, and they're not rivals. Right. They just, they're a different, <laughs> different team. Leagues. They're in different leagues, and, but fuck them. <laughs> yeah. They said Chicago, we're Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the Sox um, are white. Fuck yeah. them. I'm going to wear blue socks to just say fuck you to them. <laughs> uh-huh. Did you have a good Christmas holiday as well? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, good. Got, did you go anywhere? Uh, no, just uh, Christmas Eve with the Weiss family. Mm, thing. Lazy bum. Christmas Day, my, uh, my mom came over and we watched the Browns almost beat the Packers. So yeah, that would have been that awesome. That would have ruined Christmas. But. <laughs> no, that would have been great. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, well, Jeremy, do you want to go first? Did you have a good week? I had a better week than you've ever had. I don't I'll think so. I'll tell you that. Your week sucked compared to mine. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I spent... Uh, or I had my my Christmas holiday with my my side of the family. Mm-hmm. We did ours, I think, on the twenty seventh. Yeah, so it was the day was after it. last week's episode. Is that when it was? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, no, it was twenty eighth. Whatever. But I'm sorry. Uh, who cares? Apolog- a thousand apologies yeah. to all of our listeners. <laughs> yeah, I hated wasting your time like that. I was an entire day off, and now I've thrown <laughs> everybody's schedule off. <laughs> People just, marked it on you know their what? calendars. Let's, yeah. Can we start over? No. <laughs> just go back to the beginning. Start over with that lame-ass intro. 1984, and, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take it back to 1984. You know, the last time you <laughs> succeeded at something, I was negative four years old. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. And the thing is, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My parents hadn't even made that mistake yet. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sure. You were out there succeeding. Yeah. I was. I was out there peeking. <laughs> <laughs> In peeking under grade. all those training bras. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I peaked in first grade. I did not wait till high school. <laughs> so, Get this shit over with. <laughs> How was your week there, Jeremy? Are we back to this? Yeah, yeah. Tell <laughs> us about your fucking week. So I spent Christmas time a little bit with my family. We had a really nice dinner, and they they made me fat. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I wasn't until I went in. I mean, they started it back in, you know, I don't want to say 89. They started making me fat, and it's just been kind of a thing ever since. But um, let's see. I got uh, I got something 
what could have been maybe considered the second best Christmas gift of all time, which was gift cards. Yeah. If I can get my own shit. The best gift, of course, cash. Mm-hmm. Um, Straight cash, homie. Mm-hmm. In fact, just transfer shit to my bank account. That's <laughs> Take we, don't, those, we don't have to get together. Get my bank shit. visit out of the equation. <laughs> <That's> right. right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all about, you know, as easy as it can possibly be for me. PayPal. Right. Cash. Right. Right. <laughs> Facebook pay. I'll, I'll take the 3% hit. I don't care. I don't. As long as we don't have to come into contact with each just, other. Just pay me 3% more. Exactly. exactly. We'll be fine. Um, let's see. I, I wound up using that. Bought some nice uh, woodworking tools. Of course you did. Favorite thing, Scotty. And more then, saw uh, blades. Watched, watched some football and uh, yeah. I guess had a birthday. You did. I did. Happy birthday. Fuck off. Nah, it's okay. I figured you didn't want me to text you, so I didn't. I did. You are. That was the gift that keeps on giving. Exactly. To be I, left the fuck alone. I and I wish just more people would yeah. have just. I just I rely on Facebook to let me know everyone's birthday. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's I, true. I hate when I see that it's like, oh, three days ago, Tom had a birthday. It's like, mm-hmm. well, now I'm, I'm going to have to wait till next yeah, year. Yeah, like now you're fucked. You can't yeah, sit there and send him a birthday the, like the day after and feel like you're you're on top of the game. I'd rather him think the algorithm just pushed him out of my framework. Exactly. Yeah, that's the algorithm, exactly. bro. It's not, I'm not a bad friend. Right. Or there were just so many well wishes that he just didn't, he skipped over you, didn't see you there. Yeah. Didn't, you must not have seen it. Yeah. yeah. You're too damn popular something song. happened with my computer yeah cell phone whatever you know <laughs> who owns a computer anymore, scotty come <laughs> I, on i have to <laughs> anything else you did fun there jeremy well i mean the birthday i wouldn't call that fun no but uh have people I, over i no not really okay i, I ignore figured. my birthdays from from here on out basically yeah, we've, nothing we've, to me we've discussed this i think uh, you, you you only have big birthdays after after you turn what was it 21 or 30 i can't remember when you're this size, every day is a big day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. That's yeah. fair enough. And That's then enough. I guess uh, <clears throat> last week I got to uh, I got to hang out with uh, some friends from out of town that I hadn't seen. Good. Okay. And some friends from in town. Our our friend Matt. Yeah. Yo- Yoga Matt. Yeah. And uh, Jamie. Um, nice. Came to town. Uh, one of our friends um, who I hadn't seen in a couple of years uh, then texted me yesterday to let me know he's been tested positive for covid sweet and so i had to beat hell all over town and uh get a test mm-hmm. i'm negative nice for uh covid flu and aids no so, right that's always good to test uh where's that test round of applause? negative for that last one that, that's a that's a big one to test I, negative for i thought it was weird when they asked me to jerk off in the cup at first <laughs> but just like where's the camera mm-hmm. <laughs> this doesn't feel right that's right and it was even <laughs> more weird to hear the receptionist <laughs> yeah <laughs> well yeah there's nothing in here yeah <laughs> that's what it no, sounded like no right COVID there. here yeah <laughs> she finished it up and oh god by the way i can i can i just say yeah. uh you're one of the people who's name i've never like i don't know the last time i'd actually heard it said i'd always just thought it was german is it german it's german hard g hard g you keep like all your letters just hard hard your k rock the fuck hard your r's all of it okay yep yep Yep. no nazi i'm actually irish oh congratulations that's uh notice red not all germans are nazi scotty (laughs) (laughs) yeah uh anyways i had an excellent fucking week if those of you who are watching the youtube channel can see this (laughs) this <laughs> pretty husky guy fitting into a jersey that may be more something a 12 year old would be able to fit into but that's okay because it's my scooters hooters jersey that i bought four years ago i can still fit into it by the way because you need a new jersey and by that yeah. i mean you need to move to a different state <laughs> <laughs> maybe but uh, we had our championship week for our fantasy football team. Now you guys know another person who's in our league, Eric. Derek um, did not do so well this year. Um, we don't really talk about it very often. Uh, like Eric said, he gets first pick because against it's next year. Because uninteresting. Right, it's, it's, I he, get to, oh, it, no. It gets very interesting. I get to choose my draft position. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. That, the last time I had like a top two, three pick, I yeah, you don't drafted want Saquon Barkley, and then he broke his leg yep. for a year You don't half, want that. So You don't want that. Uh, but uh, and you actually beat Jeremy, if I remember correctly, in, in the, this game. In the losers' championship, way to fuck right? it up, there, Jeremy. 
But uh, no, I I won this week. I won. It was last week. Oh, it was last week. That's right. That that's Eric right. beat that's, me That's up. correct. Do you, do you play another game if you lose in the loser yeah. bracket for, tournament to see who comes in third place in the that's losers right, yeah. bracket? <laughs> so, I, I, so I got my seventh place victory. I, I'm not even the best loser. I'm the third best loser. Top right. three. Right. That's where you're putting me in that top three. No. Right. The, the the if I if I understand our uh, rankings thing on here because mm-hmm. didn't we decide that the loser has there's a punishment this year right there, there is a punishment but uh, it is unclear on if it was the lowest points during the league or if it was the last place finish La- at, at, last place finisher of the regular season okay that's what it is okay, yeah. there was okay. A, oh, was that regular season yeah yeah, yeah I but I think I was I think I was at least like second <laughs> nah, or okay. third to last it's okay I was gonna say because I was like. Because I think it was Derek who was leading the charge on this. He it was, and then his mm. wife ends up in last place. No, oh, I think it was somebody else. It was really? another, it was another person. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, at least mm. off after the uh, the places are all done with the thing because yeah. I saw because I beat her twice this year. I mm-hmm. didn't do much, but I beat Katie twice. This there year. you go. Beat Tom Brady. But the, the most the yeah. lowest place team in the regular season is actually a guy who is less fit to run that race <laughs> than Derek and I are. <laughs> we haven't even talked about the race. I, I, I saw the group chat and I was just like, oh God, I hope I don't get last or whatever. And I was like, I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's embarrassing. They have to run the warning track in a, in a foot race from one foul pole to the other uh, and hopefully not die. They, do they have to dress up? It's called the fruit run. They dress up like they a dress, piece of fruit. Dress up like apple and banana. And do they get to choose, or do I they get know. the most cumbersome costume? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I, I do. He, he's I not sp- gonna win. <laughs> I spent a lot of time wondering if it was gonna be me. So it's I put not, a lot of thought. It's your good. Okay, good. But the most important thing out of this entire ordeal of uh, shit but that we you guys can make don't it happen care if you want to, <laughs> <laughs> and you can pick any costume you want. Can I just be like a carrot? And no, throw a wrench in the whole situation. <laughs> I think you should do it just dressed as you. Yeah, <laughs> and, and go out there while everybody. It's like, why y'all dress like that? Rooney, I'm just gonna Rooney, wear Rooney. shorts. <laughs> but the most important thing out of all of this is that I retained my championship belt, baby. Back to back years in a row. I, uh, but I understand. That means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I won. I won back to back years. And uh, I, I felt kind of bad. My stepdad has now been the maid of honor in uh, in our league now for four years. He's oh, done wow. it four years. Um, but I know as much, and I know even you probably hate me. Yes, prancing yes. around. No, just stop no. there. With just <laughs> stop it. You probably hate me. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, I do. No, probably. But I know that you guys all probably hate me prancing around with my championship belt every single year. And even on the show, I've get some comments about, I wish Scotty would just get rid of the belt. So I'm going to be selfless today. Every, every year? Every, well, yeah, Again? two in a row. Because you've had that a total of one year. And now two. No, you're starting <laughs> the second starting year. Two. You it don't know how matter. calendars work. You I've earned I, it two I, years. That's right. I'm going to be selfless this year, and including on this podcast episode, I am actually going to take the belt off the desk. For, for throw it in this the trash. Episode. Yeah. Please, and thank can, you. If I if I can... Oh, Jesus There Christ. you go. <laughs> <laughs> and put up a new one. You got a show belt? Oh, no. This one... Is even better. That's great. <laughs> My friends from Trophy Smack actually contact me. I paid nothing for this. Oh, okay. There you go. They actually made me a custom belt that says the best podcast host of all damn time. How about that? That's great. That's Round of applause, everybody. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. No. <laughs> no. I can't <laughs> even which condescendingly. Which does it? <laughs> yeah, it's that one. There we go. <laughs> I can't even condescendingly approve of anything that's happening if, oh yeah if i can break kayfabe for a second i personally love the belts yeah i great. love getting a belt for yourself. i always told myself if awesome. i won the comedy contest here in wichita i'm buying myself a fucking belt i don't yeah. care it's gonna happen yeah and it's so, a great quality belt i love it jeremy i would just wear the bracelet on <laughs> my waist <laughs> i would have to lose a lot of weight or buy a corset yeah you, for celebrating your second year in a row you should yeah. take like a sexy photo shoot for a calendar totally. with the belt just covering your junk and, and give it to Derek. exactly that's right. i actually Post it right behind him oh god that'd be great no i think actually you should have it just around your waist dick hanging out <laughs> under it <laughs> just like from, from the simpsons movie when bart's skating around and they got the yeah. the bushes and stuff and there's that one little peek at his tiny little pecker 
That can be your little pecker right effect. That's that's it. Uh, but no, I, I really do. I want to say a huge thank you to Trophy Smack. It was a really good experience. They actually, uh, I contacted them and said I did not think that I was going to win this year, and I was not in good shape. And they wanted me to be able to have a, a really cool belt that I could put on the desk that it, you know, I could show it off, and they fucking killed it in spades. So, so thank you to Trophy you're Smack. telling me it was a pleasurable experience to get free shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who does the only, not? The that, only th- free thing that he didn't like getting was that AIDS. Yeah, that's exactly no. <laughs> right. So thank you very much to Trophy Smack. I appreciate it. Unfortunately. And oddly enough, I paid for that. <laughs> so. We'll have to get Derek's reaction next week. But uh, that was uh, that was pretty much uh, my week. 2022 is going to be lit, guys. Between the cheese and the belt, Derek ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> what, what third thing could we put on the desk to right? ensure that he never steps foot in this basement again? He never walks those four stairs. Oh on this man! Half level. Uh, uh, just a me. Pair of white socks. <laughs> pair of white, <laughs> a pair of white socks. <laughs> uh, but that was all of our weeks. Um, we do have a lot of sports to get to, uh, but before we do that, I've got to give another shout out to our uh, our sponsor for yeah. every single episode. Um, great, great company that helps you trim your ball hair. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are actually, they called, Scotty? They're called Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Okay. Com. That's their website. That well, that's their website. That's <clears> where you <throat> go to. Uh, it's not gov, uh, not eu. It's Manscaped.com. dot com. They're mm-hmm. definitely not based in Europe. No, definitely no, not. No, no, they don't. They don't. They allow too much hair over there. Made in America. Man. Actually, no, they have the UK. Oh, do they? That, that was they, a big thing about. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were <laughs> selling <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's dot it's, com, it's but com, they but they sell to the UK. They can ship over to the UK. Oh, okay. Despite the fact we beat those cocksuckers in a war. <laughs> We're still sending them our best ball trimming products. That's exactly right. Every time they feel a smoothness on their balls, they're going to thank that's USA. That's correct. USA. But Manscaped.com, they make excellent <laughs> products to help keep your if, nuts clean. Include those damn that Brits. smoothness, that's freedom. <laughs> <laughs> you are free to slide around mm, in exactly and around right. your junk. They make a lot of excellent products, including the Lawnmower 4.0, which is uh, one of their newest products. But that is what helps you, uh, you know, clean nut to butt. They're up to the 4.0. The 4.0. 4.0. This one has an adjustable light on it because the last one was just blinding. <laughs> you couldn't shave your balls without a welder's mask on. <laughs> <laughs> and so this one, you can turn it down a little. That's right. Do they do? Is it always just .0 or do they ever do like a .5? We're trying some shit out. With Back a in the seventies, I think they had the uh, the one point five, and I think. Jeremy said that one is uh, you start that by a pull rope. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was a pull start. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was actually a gas engine. Yeah, <laughs> diesel. Yeah, <laughs> they got to run it real long. Yeah, that's real right. long time. It's got to cut through. Right. You had to. Mix. It had a lantern. On it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give you a bed cap so you can walk right. around like Ebenezer Scrooge. Right. Or some shit. <laughs> but not Where this are those one. ball hairs. I know he put them somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But not this one. The Lawnmower 4.0, excellent product. It'll keep your uh, balls clean without getting all cut up, which is the most important thing. That's why you don't use beard trimmers. If you try it, it will cut you. If you use a beard trimmer, it will hurt, I promise. Uh, but with the Lawnmower 4.0, it will uh, clean you from bush to tush, all nice and clean. They also have other products to help with that. They have the ball deodorant, which is good. That's that's a very important thing. I just it feel, is. I just feel like my balls are too strong yeah. for deodorant oh man can, i don't know I, but this Scotty, is good could shit. They, no. can they help me oh yeah yeah you you must have that schmegma i mean i li- i don't like to brag yeah but, <laughs> i don't like to brag but your boy's got a couple extra folds yeah you know i know i hear you but uh the ball it's deodorant like a convertible well. top down there <laughs> you push a button it goes real slow <laughs> I catch a lot of wind going down the highway. It's That's a bad right. time to open up the top, really. <laughs> they don't tell you that when you buy the car. No. Uh, but they, they, have, they don't tell you, don't hang your dick out the window. <laughs> but it dries it so efficiently. It sure does. And it whistles. That's it's a fun a, little whistle as I'm driving down the neighborhood, waving to the kids. It keeps deer away. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it keeps deer away. It attracts possums, which is <laughs> it sure does. the damnedest thing. I did not expect that. Which is how you've been shaving your balls from now on. Possum claws. <laughs> they're nice. They're sharp. They're digging through the trash. Sure. They're fighting oh, off raccoons. God. <laughs> it's good. Manscaped should really look into that. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Powered tools. <laughs> okay. But they also have other products. They Batteries have the, are always playing dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rim shot, motherfucker. <laughs> there you Thank go. You. 
Uh, but they also do have other products. The ball toner is very important, uh, but their newest product is the crop cleanser. I don't know about you, Eric, but I am very lazy when I'm in the shower, and I sometimes just, just laying like- down, trying to drown yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Not another moment, dear sweet God, give me release. <laughs> I just be uh, just too dumb to plug up the tub. Just put a plug in there; the water will rise, and your pain will go. <laughs> Sometimes when you're scrubbing down, you just gotta have a seat. <laughs> just, just oh, gotta catch, legs catch my breath as I wait the sweet release of death. Uh, no, I mean whenever you're trying to wash your hair, you'll use the shampoo kind of as soap. Do you ever do that? I will use it on my beard. Okay. Usually. So, so now Manscaped has come out with the crop cleanser, which is actually designed for the hair on your head and body wash. It's all in one. Nice and handy. So it check that out. You mean soap? Soap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what some people call that. They've this, had it around no, a while. This is, this, is, this is breaking, man. This is cutting edge. You got to stick a right pun here. in that name. Yeah. In that's yeah. right. Uh, but check them out uh, for us at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps us out. That helps you out. And that lets Manscaped know that we are doing every one of these commercials word for word, and we want them to leave us alone. And so, keep in mind, it is not, like he said, dot, dot, com. Dot, Don't get yeah, confused. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you can't figure that thing out, then wow. You deserve hairy balls. You deserve yeah, hairy balls. Stinky, hairy smegma balls. That's, That's right. You deserve. Uh, but now we've got a lot of sports to get to before we get on to the fun stuff of the show, uh, which is going to be kind of nice because now we're going to have a new perspective, which uh, from a Packers fan, this will be kind of fun. Uh, I do want to say, unfortunately, the new year kind of got kicked off with some shitty news. Um, I mean, Betty White. Yeah. 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 Who saw that coming? 99 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I, like I, I was really hoping she would hit the century mark. I was too. Would have been would have been great TV. But I love seeing all those People magazines saying like Betty White turns a hundred. I loved seeing all those memes, like all of those memes of like um, Death playing the the uh, crane machine, and every single time he's like going Betty White, Betty White, Betty White, fuck Kobe Bryant. Like like those are the <laughs> best. And so uh, I was sad, I, but I wonder all those magazines. You know that they still had those. Printed up, printed just up. ready to go for when she turned 100. Yes. So I wonder if they send those off to third world countries like the losing Super Bowl team. <laughs> Here's how Betty spent her 100th day. Birthday. <laughs> Jesus, that's great. Um, but which one were you more sad on? Were you more sad on Betty White or uh, sad on John Madden? Can I? Go ahead. Go can ahead. I, can I make an honest admission? I'm, I'm peeling the smegma back, and I'm letting you guys know my heart. You love Betty fucking White. I do. Yeah. Uh, but... I thought John Madden was dead already. <laughs> oh my god! Is this no. is this some some Mandela effect? It shit? might be. It like, could be. I thought he died around like Madden 06. No, <laughs> no. He was I guess still... he retired in 09. But yeah. like, I, I was talking to my wife about it because like the documentary was coming out. Yeah, and I was just like, I just kept saying like, oh yeah. He was a real great guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was really cool. He was really funny. Uh-huh. Then he dies. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? <laughs> I think the fuck. I, I had that exact same thing happen with Gene Wilder when he died. Yeah. I would have bet you everything I owned that he was already dead. Really? Yeah. And you would have been wrong? I had heard it. Yeah. I, had, I thought I had heard it on a radio show that they announced he died years before. This is one of those uh, War of the Worlds radio shows you listen to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ladies and gentlemen, oh breaking my God. news. Jesus. They have cut John Madden's head off. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Just like faking everybody out. <laughs> I- I don't I, like. I think. I mean, I don't. I'm not a big, huge fan of Betty White, but like Madden was so fucking cutting edge when it came to making the actual video games and stuff like that. If it wasn't, he didn't make those. No, 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 no. He making. Involved. He was involved to the point where he it was his idea. He did not want an eight player or an eight eight seven man team. Seven he, seven on seven. On shit, seven. Yeah. He was like, no, this is eleven on eleven. It's got to be real, and it's got to look real. And it was it was his whole goal from the from the very first one from '99, I think, all the way up until the last one. He yeah. was somewhat involved in. So if you play Madden, you got to like John Madden. You would think in order to respect him all of this time and with all of his input, they would make a good game. Yeah. You would think that they would. They still have it. <laughs> I buy it every year. I buy it every still, fucking year. I buy it for the shit. roster updates. I don't care. It was amazing. It was, can you just get download roster updates? You can, but it's a real bastard to go through all the free agent moves. And everything. Yeah. I'm I'm like, I'm real anal about it. My my sex and my Madden, I'm real anal sure. about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I like to be very particular. I like to see all the right rosters. Because yep. when I win the Super Bowl and go undefeated, I want it to feel real. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, for the fourth year in a row. Exactly. The, it's exactly. like me winning fantasy football. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's real as fuck. Yeah. Um, but no, that was, um, uh, I, I'm going to obviously, I, the only thing with like John Madden, I think that was even better than his involvement with the video games was that one video of him doing like the water bucket having a little water bucket. Have you seen that shit? No. Is this, is oh, this where the turducken came from? He talked about the turducken too, but no, the, there's a video of him doing, you know, his thing when he marks all over the television screen Illustrator, yeah. uh, oh. about the buckets, the different water buckets the on the, the Gatorade. Like that. Yes. that I've seen. I thought yes. you were talking about like he had a bucket in no. the booth and it was like, here you go, Pat. This is the, no, this is a bucket inside of a bucket. <laughs> no, it was so funny fucking funny it was absolutely hilarious my favorite telestrator thing that he ever did when when he pointed out how hard the linemen were working by circling the sweat in their butt crack <laughs> on, on their pants <laughs> this is how you can tell that they're really getting in there. they're really working hard and he circled the the sweat streak <laughs> Between their butt cheeks on their pants. And if you look yes. real hard at the quarterback's, the top of his hand, it's just glistening in the midday sun. He probably, <laughs> he probably pointed out those guys are using the lawnmower 1.5. Yeah. <laughs> you anyway. can see a couple of hairs poking out there because it's not right. a good. I hear they're working on a two point. That's right. These are great John Madden impressions. They, they're they're right. <laughs> awful. We're all trying to do Frank Kelly exactly. and doing <laughs> yeah. John Madden, which, yeah. you know. They always talked about what a great sense of humor John Madden had. Mm -hmm. But from what I understand, Frank Caliendo had to put the kibosh on it when he worked for Fox. Yeah. Really? While John Madden was working for Fox. He didn't like, he didn't it. like it. Yeah. When he'd do it on Mad TV, he That's a kind of shut that down. I mm -hmm. would feel like if it was a bad impression or like he made him like the joke was always that he was something awful. I feel like he just he just did a really good mm -hmm. impression of John Madden yeah. and he was silly like John Madden yeah. was. So it's just it, it doesn't seem right that he would be so upset about it, but I yeah, don't know. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna say in all of history though, when it comes to John Madden, second most recognizable announcing voice, Ooh. Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell is yeah. by far number one, and then John Madden. I mean, he was the voice of football. Yeah, yeah. yep. <clears throat> but uh, I'm getting choked up. Goddamn, <clears throat> goddamn. Um, um, or it might be the AIDS that I got. Um, stop but no, Betty White. Okay, Betty White did as good a job as she possibly could with a lot of shitty scripts and a lot of <laughs> shitty jokes that were written for her yeah. that were just, hey, I'm the crazy old lady. Mm -hmm. yeah. that was, I'm an old lady and I'm talking about sex. Yes. Yeah, that's Hot true. in Cleveland. Yep. All that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, but, but she was she was lo lovable. She was like game for anything. She seemed to have like the best sense of humor. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, as long as you paid her. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how how... How much do you think I'm going to be? How great do you think I'm going to be if I'm not getting paid for this? We'll find this out. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but moving on, we got uh, we had the college, the first round of the college football playoff. Uh, that was pretty pretty much of a letdown there, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, I was, really thought Cincinnati would put I up a better too. fight. I did too, but that didn't happen. No, not uh -huh. at all. And in fact, uh, Michigan really didn't put up that much of a fight against Georgia. No, either. they really didn't. But I just think that Georgia is just that fucking good. I, I do. I really they, think their first loss to Alabama was a fluke. Yep. This uh, this Friday uh, is the national championship game in Alabama against Georgia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the question: the the spread is two and a half. Georgia is favored, and the over under is fifty two points. I only think they're going to win by one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. special. I, I don't think they're gonna cover this spread. <laughs> <laughs> uh I'm I don't know. That's a tough that's a tough one. Do I think that Georgia will win by a field goal is where it all comes down to? And I I don't think so. I think this is gonna be pretty damn close. I think it'll be a last second field goal or maybe a last second touchdown, but I just that's how the other game was, right? Yeah, sort of. Well, I mean, no, Alabama beat the shit out of Georgia. They did? Oh yeah. They did they didn't they didn't look all that great. Yeah, Georgia thought, came out and laid an egg. Yeah, they're better than that. And way they, better than and, that. And they are gonna come out and like we've said on the show, Jeremy says it all the time, the hardest thing to do in football is beat the same team twice in the same season. So mm -hmm. I, I think that Georgia ends up winning this game. I will take the uh I'm gonna take the over uh, and I'll take uh, Georgia covering the spread. What about you guys? Actually, the hardest thing to do in football is to kick a field goal while doing a handstand. Oh, well, shit. Um, That's the second thing to do, hardest thing to do, is to beat a good team twice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, what do you think there, Von Riker? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I, 
I'm I'm pretty bad as far as uh, following college football throughout the season. I'm usually ramping up more time towards this time, and then obviously the draft. I want to see who the Packers. Sh- I think they should draft. Oh. They don't. Um, but I feel like everything I've heard about Georgia is just that they that like like Alabama. I feel like they're a two loss team, right? No one. They only lost one. They I lost to Texas A and M. That's fact. what it was because I because they lost to a team that they should not have they lost should not to. Have right? Lost to. Yeah. So. Of course, they sneak into the playoff and then beat Cincinnati. Well, they were the number one team after they beat Georgia in the SEC yeah. championship game. So they didn't. They were the yeah, number they're the number one, one, one seed. Yeah. coming into the postseason, yeah. they would not have been if Georgia would have beat them. Though right. I think they would have been out. But yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Who do you? Th- what do you think about spread? Who are you, who are you picking? Georgia by ten. Georgia by ten. Yep. Okay. Over under. I think that they are. Um, 50, oh yeah. Over. 50, over, over. Over. Okay. Yeah. All right. The fun stuff. We get to get to the NFL. Uh, this is week seven. It seems like we're late in the show to be getting to this. <laughs> I know it is, but but we'll move on. We'll move quickly through this shit. Um, week 17 of the NFL, Jalen Hurts nearly gets hit by falling fans after a railing collapses. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, I, I loved those 90s WWE barricades they had yeah. holding into those just the bars. You dumb motherfuckers, get the shit fixed. There's no solid wall. Did you hear how they fixed it? No. Zip yeah. ties. Oh, zip ties. They used some fucking riot cuffs to try to fix this shit. <laughs> That's probably a lot more dependable than the piece of shit, like, fake aluminum railing that they were using. I like to think it was somebody in there going, yeah, has anybody got any gum? <laughs> <laughs> no. What about zip ties? Oh, you got zip ties. Okay. Uh, but uh, I just love the fact that the fans that fell on Jalen Hurts got a lot closer than any of the football team um, players yeah, did. Absolutely. Um, so that looks like that the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, I believe, are going to make the playoffs. Yep, they, they've so, already secured a so, playoff yeah. spot. Good for them. Good for Jalen. Good year. Um, Jamar Chase, after uh, Week 17, vaults past Mac Jones for favorite for rookie of the year. I mean, when you receive enough yards that you could have th- thrown them and it would have been noticed. Like, did you see his reaction yeah. when he was told that he caught for more yards than Pat Mahomes threw for? He's like, yeah. oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, that that dude, like, he, he is so fun to watch. He kind of had a dull spot at the beginning of the – or at the middle of the season. He just kind of – Different ball. Yeah, it, or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. But in all seriousness, the last two weeks, on fucking fire, in fuego. You think that puts him ahead of Mac Jones? Yes, I do. Okay, I do. I mean, is that that's not anything official? That's just your idiotic opinion. No, no, no. This is uh, <laughs> as far as right now. This is like the voting for it is that mm-hmm. Jamar Chase is is uh, definitely. I just league. I feel like I feel like Jamar Chase has been more consistent. I feel like Mac Jones. They had that nice long winning streak. Yeah, and he was doing really well. Um, and they had they went against a couple of awful teams and put up like fifty points. Yeah. Yeah. on them. Uh, but I feel like Jamar Chase has just been consistent. He's, it's not also like they've got two thousand yard receivers, a thousand yard running back, and a four thousand yard quarterback. Yeah, they've almost got a third thousand yard receiver. So it's not like he's the only person on the team getting right. targets and right. getting receptions. So he's doing all of this shit while being a rookie. And they got is it T Higgins, T Higgins, and Tyler Boyd. T Higgins, Tyler Boyd. So like I feel like it's so much more impressive to be demolishing people. As a rookie, right. when you've got so many other people that the ball could go to, yep. and uh, the the fact that he has Joe Burrow helping him, absolutely, uh, definitely helps. But we'll get to that too here in a second, a little bit later as well. We'll talk a little bit more, more about those two guys. Uh, but next, does having those other two guys on the team draw coverage away from you? That's possible. Uh, I can see yeah. That. What about that, Eric? <laughs> I don't think so. I think your number one receiver on that team was Jamar Chase the well, entire now. season. No, the entire season. He blew up the beginning of the season. They started double covering him. They started throwing a T. Higgins, and then everything went back to normal, and then they started lighting him up again. So I, I don't know. Uh, next one, the Giants finish a game with minus 10 passing yards against the Bears. We all had more passing yards than the fucking <laughs> Giants did last week, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Congratulations all right. to us. Round of applause. Round of applause for everybody. Okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna make this statement right now. The Giants are not a very good team. No, they're not. But yeah. I don't give a fuck who I piss off saying that either. I don't understand Come at the me. ghost of Tom Coughlin. I yeah. Don't Daniel Jones is not <laughs> looking like a ghost <laughs> most of the time. Is Dan- he dead? Daniel Jones? No. Yeah. No. Oh. Tom Coughlin. No, he's not dead. As soon as I said the ghost of Tom Coughlin, I looked at Scotty and I could see in his head for a second, he's like 
Is he? Is he dead? Is he, is he dead? <laughs> is this is this one of those things they were talking about with John Madden? And I don't <laughs> think it would get near the fanfare that John Madden's no. death did. No, they wouldn't. would just plaster that picture of him from the 07 NFC Championship, just red faced in the cold. Yeah, that's the day he died. It's been a robot Tom Coughlin ever since. <laughs> yeah, fuck. he died on the field that day, and they had to hide it. <laughs> yep, they're weakened at Coughlining his ass and all over the field. <laughs> yeah, he always looked like when it would get really cold, he looked like he was wearing one of those gel masks. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That you sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a night <laughs> to, to get rid of the moisturized. bags so under your eyes. Yeah. So By the way, the uh, the K State's bowl game starts in about eight minutes. So just know I'm going to be real focused real on what out, you're doing. Fine. <laughs> do um, they do, do they know about the entertainment in the room? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. They, that's they, you. They just know that's TVs me? on. Yeah, yeah. That's you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they can see the the reflection right in the belt. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, next <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> Here we go. This comes down to it. This this is probably, I think, one of the only Week 18 games that actually has Matters. some st- some stank on it, which is who makes the playoffs, the Chargers or the Raiders? So the Raiders, Waller can potentially come back for the playoffs, right? Correct. But he's definitely out for this I game. believe he's definitely out for um, this one. I had no idea. Ruggs, has he been gone for a while? No. He, is Fuck he, no. He's, he's, he's lit up my fantasy football team. So has he I, – I felt oh, like Oh, sorry, I heard Henry something. Ruggs. Henry I'm Ruggs. sorry. I thought he you meant Hunter. Guy. Yeah, he killed a guy. He gone. Hunter Renfro is who lit up my fantasy oh, yeah. team. I was say Ruggs. HR. That's what I fucked up. No, yeah. Ruggs, Ruggs gone. Oh, that's – that's Ruggs in Ruggs. jail. He, he he did they have, like, another DUI, a rookie who just got a DUI? Probably. It's the Raiders. Oh, my God. Las so, Vegas, yeah. man. No rugs, no Waller, at least for now. Uh, Josh Jacobs, he's been doing well for me. Josh Jacobs is fine. So I mean, I don't know. I know the I know the Chargers. They've been struggling of late. <sighs> the te- that Texans game that, that was, was bad. So surprising. And it's not their offense that I'm questioning. It's their defense. Their defense can't stop a toddler in a wheelchair. So they got they got. What? Why would they? they? Bosa, <laughs> Just saying. Bosa, That'd be a Derwin real dick James, defense. And who else? Is on that defense. Nah, but he was on him. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like they got rid of Casey Hayward. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so who do you think? I don't know. It's it's like the the movable object meets the stoppable force. It's like <laughs> the offense versus the defense. It's like Right. I don't know. I, I feel like I love Derek Carr, but I feel like if I had to pick, I'd say Justin Herbert is going to drag his team farther than Derek Carr is going to be able to drag his. I, I I'm gonna go with you on that. I do agree. I, I'm gonna look at who's the better who's the better offense i'm gonna go yeah. with i believe it's the chargers they're more consistent they just need to figure out how to stop somebody and if i had to figure out how to stop Derek carr i think that wouldn't be that big of a math they've, problem like the chargers they've got a great running back too except mm-hmm. he can also catch the ball really well they've got two they, they've got two the uh, justin jackson i picked up as well not only yeah. austin eckler and those are two guys you can depend on if one goes down justin jackson will be just fine the thing that fucked them in that houston texans game was they just couldn't stop the houston texans that was yeah. it justin jackson did fine. How about you, Jeremy? What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You're not even on yet. Chargers, Chargers or the Raiders? Who who are you going to pick? Uh, to make I the think playoffs? the Chargers are a less shitty team. Yeah, that's I, I agree. The Chargers, they like. I was watching Sunday Ticket with my wife and uh, fucking the, name dropper the yeah. other week. My wife. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The You're the right. other week and like we were seeing the two. They had the two games up on the Red Zone channel, and I think they had the Rams game on and the Chargers game on. And my wife was just like. Which are those the same team? Are they playing two different games right now? Because it just looks like the same. Sort of. I just I. They play in the same fucking stadium. Same, same color, stadium, same, same town. uniforms. It's yeah. just stupid. It's real dumb. Uh, but the biggest news of the entire fucking week. N- nobody will stop talking about this, and so we're gonna go ahead and make fun of them too. Antonio <laughs> Brown walks off of the field mid-game, mid-play. Okay. What the fuck? Is going on in this man's head? Um, here's here's the thing, and it, unfortunately, it is not funny. <laughs> this guy has severe CTE, big time, and which I wouldn't give a shit if he blew his head off. I don't care for the man, but he has children, young children, and they are legit in danger. I think, yeah, from this guy, it he's a tragedy waiting to happen. I agree, and somebody needs to intervene. Um, he never should have been allowed to come back after he threatened that woman's kids. Right. Um, but the fact is he did. And I think just made him worse. He claims, uh, what I heard was if he had so many catches, 
He was going to get a three hundred dollar or three hundred thousand dollar bonus. I've already got it right here in front of me. <laughs> Eight more catches to unlock three hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollar bonus. Did he negotiate that number? No, <laughs> I love threes. It, it's basically a million <laughs> oh, million. It's a million a dollar bonus. Million. Yeah, it's a third I'm of a million. I'm going to write down a bunch of threes. You tell me when to stop. <laughs> Just press yeah. three for a while. Uh, it's a CTE thing. They're obsessed with the number three. Uh, he also needed fifty five receiving yards to unlock another quarter or a uh, third of a million. And then he also needed just one receiving touchdown to unlock another third of a million dollars. And and the whole thing was that they were trying to put him in the game, right? Yes, and he said that he wasn't healthy enough to do so. Arians basically said, get in there. He said, no. Arians said, well, then basically leave. And so we did. I don't know if he said leave, but I think he said, you know, get out of here or some shit like that. Yeah. And so he obliged, took off his pads, Threw his undershirt into the fucking stands. I wish they'd have thrown it back. Did jumping jacks. <laughs> and this is in fucking, this is in, this is at the Jets. This is not even at home. And then he's doing jumping jacks in the fucking end zone while they're running a play. They're lining up for a play. Well, I mean, you can't get him for too many men on the field. He doesn't play on the team anymore. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Once you take off your pads, you're not on the team. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's that's not wearing a like jersey. having a cheerleader on there. It's not. And not can hurting. I just yeah. say, for a man who donned himself uh, Mr. Big Chest. Yeah. Real tiny chest. Yeah. <laughs> great fucking abs. Nothing going yeah, up Yeah, nothing here. going up top. He's a wide receiver, man. It's He's lanky. Link. But uh, in, in all seriousness, I know it's it's kind of funny to poke at him. There's tons of memes that are going around that are just absolutely hilarious. The one that says if uh, like if something about work, like if you don't always have to work a full day, if you can just leave halfway through, no. there's a whole bunch of funny ass memes about it. in all seriousness. I'm with Jeremy. This dude has a severe mental problem. He is a danger to the people that are around him. And we've been saying that for a while. We've been saying this since he was leaving Oakland to go mm -hmm. to New England. I um, forgot that he was in New England. Yeah. So somebody Be rattling off he was a problem in Pittsburgh and Oakland and New England. And yeah. I was like, I fucking completely forgot about yeah. New England. This dude is They let just, him go after he threatened some woman's kids on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is... It's not the Patriot way. <laughs> as, fu no. as funny as this show can be at times, unfortunately, this is one of those times we're not joking. Like, this dude needs to get some help. I think Tom Brady said it very, very professionally which is i hope that he gets all of the help that he needs far away from me and he didn't that, that was <laughs> off camera they muted that part he's not in my house anymore <laughs> exactly um but and he does that dude needs some severe severe help so that was the craziest thing i think i've seen in all the years i've watched football i was so seriousness. confused whenever it was starting to happen like i love how the security thought he was just a fan yeah just some random dude yeah <laughs> he was a he field. was a streaker there for a second yeah, he, yeah. he started taking off all of his gear and it's like dude you remember when they wouldn't let you play in the old style of helmet <laughs> they're not gonna let you play like that what the fuck right. i just you gotta wear shoulder pads i like thinking back on it for these last couple of days i'm surprised he didn't just like drop trowel and just start ripping those off and yeah sit down and try and pull them over his cleats like a two-year-old yeah or like that. i'm just like it just seems like such a uh, a waste yeah like another another wasted talent by his own decisions mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah well, we gotta keep on thing. keep on moving we've got uh real shit or horse shit next and we're gonna roll right into it from this uh this last topic wow we're, we're not even gonna talk chiefs all right do you want to <laughs> no. Because <laughs> uh, we will get there. Okay. Here in a second. Let's do it. Uh, but moving on to real shit or horse shit. First one, real shit or horse shit. Antonio Brown will not play another snap in the NFL. I hope not. <laughs> he's making movies saying he's not done. He's not oh, He's not through. I'm just trying to think of who who would be desperate enough to sign him, but good enough to make it worth it. Like the Chicago and, Bears. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> or the Green Bay Packers. I, I feel like... I feel like the Packers, I feel like, have a good locker room. Like, with, with Rodgers and his whole immunized thing, I feel like mm -hmm. the locker room was g good around him. They've got a good chemistry. Yeah. So I don't think that they want to fuck that chemistry up. I can think of probably three teams just right off the top that are just so desperate, like the Cleveland Browns being one, the Carolina Panthers being two. But the thing is— The for, Houston Texans being three. In order to take on such a headache, you have to be this close. Yeah. You like what what teams right now like <laughs> the Raiders? <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> they much. Could, they could use him. Um I guess. But, but they, like but he's already been there and done exactly, that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. They would have to be the the best mix of desperate 
but close. Yeah. Like a good quarterback, good everything, but not a top flight wide receiver or they need a good slot guy. Like I, if my gut says no at this point, yeah. he's been through four places. Belichick couldn't fix him. Tomlin couldn't fix him. That's Bruce the true Arian, test. Winning a Super Bowl couldn't fucking fix him. I think the true test is Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick has turned guys around like Randy Moss yeah. and good, good wide receivers that are just absolutely, I, I call them, uh, I call them the sprinkle donuts. They're the flashy wide, wide receiver, yeah. right? They're just too much. Um, and I, I think this is, uh, this is real shit. He's not going to play another game. Yeah. Jeremy? I think he'll, he'll, he'll try he'll put himself out there. He might get a workout, but I don't think it'll happen. Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You've lost Jeremy yeah. for the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Turn ESPN K-State. news, by the way. It's on. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. But what do you think? Real <laughs> shit or horse shit, Jeremy? Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Jeremy's gone. No, it's, it's real shit. Yeah. He's not playing. He's not playing another I snap. Agree. He, you can't. You can't throw a public fit like that. Like on the like in the facility, something that wasn't on camera. Like yeah. if it got out immediately, that would be one thing because nobody knows what happened. We all yeah, saw really what saw happened. happened. That's it's, a good point. It's posted all over social media. It's and not only that, but he's he's probably what third third receiver on that. Well, with, with uh, Godwin and Evans Godwin gone, so um, I wouldn't even say he's an. A for sure number one receiver anymore. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. I mean, if it, he'd, he'd be like top flight number two receiver. Like if yeah. you've got a Devontae Adams type, like if if he was going to be worth the Packers signing or something like that, like I love all of our receivers, but they're all like 2.53 wide receivers. Like we don't have a solid, always reliable number two. Guy with his kind of talent would be great as a number two receiver, right? But he's just but he brings more not, problems than he. He's yeah. not worth the headache. He's not worth the the ten receptions. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got to keep on moving on, or else. It's, no, uh, I'd like to talk about this for another hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, next one. This is in regards to your uh, your Chiefs. Uh, wow. Real shit or horse shit? Joe Burrow will win the Cincinnati Bengals a Super Bowl within five years. He fucking torched the Kansas City Chiefs over the weekend. Yeah. And they, their defense um, was like getting back to getting being back good. to being great. Yeah, and they, oh god, he just absolutely walked up and down their ass. Um, here's the thing: is that the Chiefs' record is smoke and mirrors. They have benefited from being in a lackluster division. Their NFC schedule was the NFC East. The best team in the NFC East had most of their best players hurt when they played them. They played a. Uh, Aaron Rodgers Packer team. The game I went to, of course. I mean, nice. they, <laughs> yeah, they routed the Steelers. They routed the the Raiders twice. Those are not good teams. Every decent team that they have played this year has, while they were at full strength, has beaten them. Two teams have fucking housed them. Mm-hmm. And I never thought that their defense, uh, their defense was playing better, but against shit offenses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and and the fact is that they have to play with 400 pounds of useless dead weight strapped to them in the name of Andy Reid, <laughs> who is a horrible fucking coach. I'm, I have been saying that for years now. He is terrible. And this is so indicative of what he does. They dominate in the first half. They have a, a double-digit lead, and he thinks that's all he needs to do. Just coast from there. Yeah. He's uh, just thinking he's, about those fucking cheesesteaks and tw- yes, shit like that after the game. Twice he has had insurmountable leads in the playoffs going into the second half, and he's blown them Yeah, because he quits coaching. <clears throat> he stops going for the win, and he just plays to not lose. And the way that he managed the end of that game, this is not one of those hindsight things for me. I was watching it the whole time going, let them fucking score. Your only chance, your defense ain't stopping anybody. You're not getting any calls going your way. Let them score. Put the ball back in Mahomes' hands. And then take that fucking headset off your fat face. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling plays and let Patrick Mahomes do, do what whatever. Patrick Mahomes does. And then hopefully he can score a touchdown and you either go for two or you hope to get the ball first in overtime. Yeah, I mean, that's your only chance because you ain't stopping anybody right that, now. That whole sequence at the end, the the sneaking to not get a touchdown, that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Like, I've never seen so little football happen, mm-hmm. but me be so entranced by the football I was watching. I was just like, 
are they, they, they're they're really going to risk it and just like we're going to sneak, 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 try to get it on fourth down, and they don't, but then a penalty yeah. gets them back into it, and then they fucking just kick the field goal. Oh, okay. it was it was super ballsy. Is mm-hmm. Zach Taylor? Is that his? That's the coach, wow. right? But, I'm pretty sure this. Coach. So, anyways, <laughs> it, it was kind of a it was kind of a deal where the offense had gone stagnant. Chiefs offense had gone stagnant. Even if you don't make that fourth down, you have them pinned down inside the five yard line. Mm-hmm. With they have to go two minutes to go, yards. yeah. Well, Jesus, I mean, yeah. It, it's your best chance. Well, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry you brought it up, but back to real shit or horse shit, Joe Burrow <laughs> will win the Cincinnati Bengals a Super Bowl within five years. I'm going to say would, bullshit. Really? It's just too hard to horse, win a fucking Super Bowl. This is horse talk, Jeremy. I mean, they're, they're going to be picking toward the end of the draft. They're not used to that. we got to see what kind of things they can they can pick up in the high 20s. Of a draft, but their offense, like I don't know what their contract situations are for like everybody other than Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Um, but like that offense is going to be stacked for a good couple of years if yeah. they can get some. Like their defense is, has apparently shown up enough. They were stopping the Chiefs, like you were saying. Um, once they let them score thirty some yeah. points, they started stopping them. Uh, if they can get a good offensive line and a couple more pieces on defense, I feel like they're going to be super scary. They're going to like take that throne away from the Ravens mm-hmm. who just got it. I I actually think that this is a dark horse in this year's playoffs. I really do. I would. They are they are on fire. They're in fuego. Joe Burrow's hot. I, they could legitimately do it. Are they the three seed? Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. Because I think uh, Kansas City's still the two. Two. Got the one and win, yeah. So and that's that's the next question. Real shit or horse shit? The Titans are now the clear AFC favorites. What's the timeline on Derrick Henry's return? Because he cares. I think he's probably back first game of the playoffs, but I don't if know. If they get okay. him back, then yeah. Yeah, okay. like – Okay. Because, like, the fact that they've – because what was it? They went 6-2 and two without him, and they've gone 5-3. and three, mm-hmm. Or 6-2 and two with him, 5-3 and three without him. It's just so crazy the, like, ability they've been able to sustain without the best running back who almost got 1,000 yards in half a season. Yep. Like, so once they get him back, and then now they've got other running backs that seem to pick up the slack just to keep fresh and everything. Like, yeah, I don't know. If you can't stop the run, they're going to fuck you up. Yeah, it we, is, we, we it all is agree. Scary. This is all real shit. So, um, next one. This is a fan's suggestion. He wants to know this is from Richie Rubeck. Uh, he wants to know Mac Jones, real shit or horse shit. Mac Jones will be a franchise quarterback for the Patriots for years to come. That's real shit. I think, you think so. Shit. I think between <clears throat> Belichick as a coach, the fact that he does obviously have talent, he mm-hmm. can do it, and it so far seems like they're not expecting him to Tom Brady post two thousand seven this shit. They want Tom Brady pre two thousand seven before he was yeah. thrown for touchdown records. They want a guy who's not going to lose them the game. Sure. They want a guy who is going to keep things on track, protect the ball, let the running game and the defense go for you. And it seems like like when when they stick to that plan, mm-hmm. he seems to do really well. And he can throw. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. He won a national championship yeah. for Alabama when he so, needs to. Yeah, yeah, like that. That is that quiver is always or that arrow is always in your quiver. Yeah. So like he's got the ability. Oh, we to don't talk do about that. quivers on no, this show. Quiver, no, uh, quivers, no quivers, no quivers, no uh, quivers. I think we all agree. I think that's all. Arrows real or shit. Robin quivers. We don't talk about her either. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we didn't explain the rules to you. Before no, we didn't. Oh, okay. This is a quiverless show. Yeah. Do, is that? Do I take a drink? What is the? It's not, I don't uh, know. <laughs> no, you just gotta go. Just <laughs> Sorry. Gotta go. Nice uh, being here. I'll take my cheese and go home. <laughs> um, last one before we move no, you gotta on. Leave the cheese. Oh, shit. Uh, real shit or horse shit. The offensive situation in uh, that's going on in Tampa Bay is going to be too much for Tom Brady and the Bucks to overcome. I fucking hope so. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep losing everything and then still fucking throwing a touchdown to a person I've never heard of. Von Riker to win a game. He's Tom fucking Brady. I know. He's Tom fucking Brady. I'm not saying that he's going to. I'm just saying. He could. He really fucking could. He's Tom fucking Brady. Until he's the goat, and, he, and, and they still he's have the goat. all the horses there. Yeah, I mean, there, there's they're fine. enough offensive firepower there. If, it it, if it, it any, is one thing to beat him in the season, it's another thing to beat him in the postseason. Yeah. If anything, they, they just got a fucking psychopath out of the goddamn locker room. If it, anything. 
Turns out he was all the juice keeping him going. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's right. Yeah! <laughs> uh, no, what were no. we saying, Scotty? Uh, what no, are we on? Nothing. <laughs> right. Nothing. Actually, we're going on to uh, the new segment, the fun stuff. Oh. We're done with the sports. Good. We are done with the sports. Thank I don't God. I like sports anyway. I don't either. We overanalyze the shit out of it. Guys, this episode is going to run a little bit long. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, this is our uh, Jeremy's new favorite epi- or episode, favorite segment that he likes to do. We started it last week. It's been becoming a, a little bit of a success um jeremy likes giving bad advice mm. so um we are encouraging you if you would like to uh, send a, a uh, situation that you're in if you have any question or a, a question for jeremy and you would like some bad advice send it to our instagram which is at laughing on the sidelines you can also send it to our messages in on tiktok which is again at laughing on the sideline but this week bad advice with jeremy is coming from somebody named at cummins 2589 he writes jeremy i'm in a crisis i have found the love of my life and can't imagine life without her however my friends have come to find an issue that i spend way too much time with her i only get a day and a half per week with her or with them what do i do this guy's name is cummins cummins i'm gonna assume like diesel i'm gonna call him diesel yeah Listen up, bees. Here's here's the thing: is your friends, they just don't understand how special she is to you, and this is something that you're gonna have to really get through to them. It's a communications issue, and there's really only one way to do it. You're gonna have to let all your friends fuck her, <laughs> and so that way they can see her the way that you see her, and they can understand why you want to spend so much time with her. Now, I realize you only get a day and a half. That should be plenty of time for them to go at least two go-rounds on her. 36 hours. <laughs> exactly. So basically, that's exactly what you need to do. And I'd, other than that, once, once they realize that sweet, sweet puss that, they're gonna be get, that you're getting, they'll have no choice but to understand you and where you're coming from. And that's my advice. They all want to hang out with her. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to fight them for time with her. <laughs> exactly. That's, a, that's right. Uh, but that is bad advice with Jeremy. Again, send your uh, situations into us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or TikTok. That's where we're at. Uh, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Um, this is a good one. We've got some uh, fan suggestions in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off. If you can't figure out overrated or underrated, you're just not a very smart individual. So let's get right into it. Uh, first one is from a uh, another fan. Uh, he wants to know. This is uh, at Hayden from Hair Sniffer. <sighs> that that's not his name. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it said. It said at Hayden from Hair Sniffer. He wants to know overrated or underrated paintball. Uh, underrated. I mean, the, you got a gun that doesn't quite kill somebody, but it puts welts all over their fucking body. Mm-hmm. It hurts. It's not like it's soft. I'm going to say ever since I was uh, 15 and got hit in the left nut uh, at my church youth group out going to paintball, I'm going to call it overrated. It's <laughs> You would. It's Yes, of course. Um, it's, it's the type of thing that s- seems fun in theory. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's going to be a great time. Mm-hmm. But I suck at first-person shooters. I don't know where anything's coming from. I just get hit the whole time. Okay, so that's fair. Unless you like are you care about it enough to like own the gear it's overrated or if you just don't suck at first person shooters how about you jeremy i'm gonna go with it's underrated i i really enjoy paintball and i'm i'm a gun guy i do a lot of target shooting i've taken a lot of uh you know gun classes tactical training stuff like that so it lets the dicks who play a lot of call of duty (laughs) <laughs> who think that they're good at that kind of shit, just let them know where they really stand. They get shot in the left nut. Right. Exactly. I suck at the video games, but I'm pretty good on a paintball field. Turns out when you're standing up behind a barrel or yeah. anything like that, your crotch can still poke out a little bit. And yeah. just, you're going you're gonna to get one one whizzing by. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Uh, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated? Staying up for New Year's. Overrated. 
Okay. okay. Like, you're a fucking adult. Stay yeah. up whenever the hell you want. You don't need to do it when <laughs> all of the fucking preteens are excited to get to stay up and drink sparkling juice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking go to work a little tired. You'll be fine. It yeah. is incredibly overrated. Yeah, it's it's definitely overrated. I think once I think you get past that, that bar stage, you know, after the age of 25... Even then, even then, actually, once I turned twenty one, I did not care about alcohol anymore. Yeah, I think you're kind of just over it. So yeah, I think uh, it's completely overrated. Out, Jeremy. Yeah, it's way overrated. I believe this marks the eighth year in a row that we didn't mm-hmm. stay up till New. Year. No, I guess one year we went to Derek's. Oh we yeah, had a few people over there. You weren't there, thank God. No, oh, um, I thought I was. <clears throat> yeah, would have put everybody right. I would. It feels yeah. like I would have remembered just the anger. <laughs> that I had my whole night being there, ruined. Yeah. He's sitting there wearing his 1997 fucking hat that he still wears mm-hmm. every New Year's Eve. And yeah, yeah, would have ruined it. Next one, overrated or underrated? Dressing up dogs. It's it's hard. To Von call Riker, it, I swear to God, it's hard to call it underrated since it happens so often. But God damn it, it's adorable. I love it. I'm gonna call it rated. You know what? I'm gonna break the mold. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that I. Ju- I like it. Ah, <sighs> okay. My Is this fi- why you hate him? Because he doesn't yeah. like this stuff. No, 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 no. I love dogs. First of all, I, I love <laughs> my dogs. That, that is so far down on the list of reasons. <laughs> Doesn't make the top hundred. Uh-uh. I, I love my dogs. Um, I they're adorable. F- I just met them. Yeah, they're great. I, I I feel like if um I like my pit bull. It has no big like fur. He's very very thin fur. Sleek. So my wife insists on getting him a fucking coat to put on him whenever he goes out in the cold weather for ten minutes. Scotty, it's cold outside. I get it's it. The winter. I get it. You need to love your boy. I love my dog, but goddamn, he's a dog. He just goes out there, goes to the bathroom, comes right back in, settles by the fire. He'll be fine. This is overrated. Oh, Jeremy, so does, do you put it on? Let him outside and then take it off when he gets back in? Yes. Okay, that's a couple extra steps. Yeah. Like dressing See? up for an event uh-uh. or for pictures or just to make your heart happy is one thing. But mm. temporary, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go with this as underrated, and I'll tell you why. I, I normally do not care for people who treat their dogs as fashion accessories. <laughs> but I like dressing my dog up in clothes because he fucking hates it. <laughs> <laughs> There is absolutely nothing that puts a just a sour look on his face like when we pull out some of his clothes and he just despises every second of it and there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> Poor dog. Nothing nothing Jeremy loves more than punishing in his winter. I do. Oh, Unnecessarily man. punishing an animal is uh is really high on my list. <laughs> That's I think, awful. I think part of the reason why I'm so okay with it is that I've I've bought, of course, a little jersey for my dog. Mm-hmm. He's a he's like a twenty five pound Shih Tzu. He's a bigger breed, but that's not f- a dog. It's 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 a dog adjacent creature. Yeah, um, okay, but he the thing that that you should see. I'll I'll send it to you. I'll post it on y'all's fucking whatever dot co you have. No, I'm good. I'll, on manscaped.com. When manscaped.com. I, manscaped.com. Uh, when I grab that jersey and I hold it up to put it on, he is so excited. Oh. Now it just means that he's going to get some very specific like. Attention for five like seconds. Yeah. yeah. But then he's just chilling. He's you're, relaxing. He loves it. You're he loves torturing. his you're double torturing zero. That fucking dog. He loves it. He hates it. He just doesn't want to tell you. I'll, I'll take a video of him Whatever. telling you that he loves it. Uh, now, that, if you put him in a costume, <laughs> <laughs> like a Halloween costume, yes. it's the cutest fucking thing. Oh, God. I just put a little jersey on him for game day, and no. he's all excited. A little, little Christmas sweater with the spot for his leash. No. Well, we Not have through. like a hot dog costume. Of course. For our <laughs> wiener dog. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, we got to hate that even more. Just the nail right on the head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Next one, overrated or underrated sliding down the banister on your stairs. I I feel like uh, it's going to call out a lot of fake homeowners who think it's a great <laughs> idea, but uh, I do not yet own my home, but once I do own a home, nobody is putting any part of their body on something that's going to break. I don't remember doing this whenever I like owned a house i remember this like in college or in high school because the stairs were longer remember that they were metal and so you'd hop up on those motherfuckers and you'd slide down the whole way and you pick up pretty good speed we ain't got no banisters in the trailer park bro. okay all right you were in one of those okay i I was in one of those i was in one of those private schools so uh i think uh i don't i wouldn't do it anymore 
I'm too old. It'll hurt. Overrated. Yeah, very few houses are actually set up to do this correctly. And because most houses just have that like handrail that bolts to the wall. Right. That ain't that ain't gonna yeah, bolt yeah, anybody. You're sliding down that shit. You know, and <laughs> no, and it's a good way to get splinters in your ass too. Yeah. For anybody who wants to slide down anything, they have these great things in most parks called slides. You know those motherfuckers get really hot though. Just wear an extra wear an extra dog costume, oh, no. and you'll be able <laughs> to get an extra shit. couple of layers and just slide right down. <laughs> you'll get all the same thing, except you'll land in sand, and no. you'll be fine. Last one, overrated or underrated, locking the windows and farting with the car full of your family. I'll, I'll go. This is underrated. I don't even have that big of a family. It's just my wife. <laughs> it's the wife and the dogs. She fucking hates it. And I giggle quite a bit. She actually hates being in the car with you. <laughs> She'd rather have the fart mm-hmm. driving the car, this is driving under, her to work. Underrated for me. I'm I'm going to say overrated. Okay. Just because I'm in the car too. Yeah, but you like, I your, have, own, you I like have, your own brand. Uh, you don't know my brand, brother. <laughs> it's mis- mixed with that schmegma it's, we talked about it's earlier. It's schmegma. <laughs> it's Totino's pizzas. It's ramen noodles on purpose. Yeah. For multiple meals in a week, it's it can be pretty bad. The thing is, yeah, if like I could it. fart into the car and then lock them in the car, mm-hmm. it'd be great. Okay. If I could like fart in the car and then go hide in the trunk, <laughs> that comes dangerously close to kidnapping. <laughs> at that point, that's like false imprisonment. <laughs> no, it's it's very true. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's, true hellscape. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Um. You know I love to cruise with the top down <laughs> on my station wagon. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I I don't I don't care for doing this. I don't like making other people uncomfortable other than you. <laughs> well, it's not certainly not my family. Maybe yeah, the okay. dog with that outfit, right? <laughs> you know what is you know what is underrated? Hmm. Farting on your pets. I don't I don't know if if, if anything else. The pets don't ever notice anything, right? Because they're used to gross smells. Mm-hmm. The amount of times it has pissed off my wife mm-hmm. when I have burped at my cat and blown it in their face or something like that. At this point, it's not even for me. It's oh, just have, to piss her off. You have a cat. I do. Two cats oh and a dog. Oh, my God. You never come on the show again. Uh, I'll, I'm just, I'll, I'll just take a screenshot you. of me with my cheese <laughs> in front of Derek's face, and that'll be enough. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but Ted, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You got yours, don't you? Oh, no, you did. You said yours. Top down. Top down. Top down. I'm sorry. My bad. Cruise. Uh, That was uh, overrated or underrated. Same thing applies. You can send us your suggestions if you'd like to at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines at Instagram or TikTok. Now we can move on to questions. Here we go. Questions, preguntas, same thing. Have any option or have have any uh, suggestions, send them to us. First question. Pick up lines Star Wars characters would use. Um, I feel like uh, everybody's new newest favorite, uh, the Mandalorian, mm-hmm. would walk up to a lady in a cantina, mm-hmm. get her attention, just point at his crotch and say, this is the way. <laughs> I feel like it's perfect. Uh, okay. She jumps on his speed fucking okay. <laughs> speeder and rides away with Grogu, and everybody has a good time. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think here. Uh, hey, honey. I got the dark saber. You want to go check it out in the Millennium fucking? <laughs> I don't think she'll like your puns. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give myself that. <laughs> Jeremy? Uh, I think it would be... <laughs> that, was, that was a treasure to yeah. get right on the ears. <laughs> That's right. Oh, shit. All right. Next question. Other movies that Tarzan should have appeared in. Uh, my first thought was uh, George of the Jungle. Get a real Batman versus Superman vibe going. Okay, I would have. I would have very much enjoyed him to show George what a real, like, yeah. you know, vine swinger. Absolutely. Looks like. No, I get. It. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, Quiet Place. <laughs> I think he would have gotten taken out pretty fucking quick. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked. Yeah, you know you can swing on ropes without making that noise. <laughs> it works just the same. You know Spider Man really? does it all the time. I know. And you know what's real dumb? Naming yeah. your gorilla friend Cheetah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's fucking that's, stupid. That's how dumb he was. Yeah, <laughs> George of the Jungle at least did name the ape ape. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's, he's already right up on top of him. Um, 
I'm going to go with Rocky just to see who had worse English. <laughs> Balboa or the of Bullwinkle fame? Oh, yeah, Bo- Balboa. The, okay. the movie Rocky. <laughs> I would have said Rocky and Bullwinkle. Come on, okay, man. Because oh, they're, they're a package deal. Right. Oh, God. All right, next question. Talent segments we will never see in the Miss America pageant. Uh, the, the Gen Z's favorite, that cup stacking. Oh, fuck yeah. That would be great. Just seeing them in their, their bikinis with their giant hair and their sash. Just absolutely. Oh uh, man. You know, I have to say whenever I see that, it is very impressive. And once you get that skill, so what? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what are you going to do with that? What do you do with it other than become incredibly famous on TikTok or YouTube yeah, or something? True. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, I went with hand jobs. I uh, I don't think you're ever going to see that on uh, Miss American Pageant, not because uh, of any other reason other than why. Why does anybody want one? It's not a talent. Even if you're fucking good at it, you're not going to be better than me. Okay. Jeremy? <laughs> um, that ping pong thing, ping pong ball thing that uh, strippers do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's probably never going to be in there. Or uh, long division. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like that'd be boring. Yeah, I probably would be. So then you carry the tape. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be uh, Miss Alabama. <laughs> uh, Wait a minute. Do you want me to do it with remainders or decimal? <laughs> what if I brought my tits out? Would that make this sum up a lot better? Not not even joking. I think it was either Miss Arkansas or Miss Alabama one year. She was smoking hot. Yeah. Really? In a beauty pageant? Yeah. Huh. Who'd have thought? Wow. My type. <laughs> you know those uh, football players? Yeah. Real good at football. That's right. (laughs) Uh, Next question. A rejected title for the American classic Moby Dick. Uh, Man fails at finding Dick. (laughs) Okay. All right. (laughs) Oh, he found it. He he did. Uh, I went with um, Richard the Asshole Whale. Okay. That's mine. I'm on a fire today. Why does he get the soundboard? Because <laughs> I'm a You should get your own soundboard. I, I've <laughs> been saying that for since the beginning. Yeah, I yeah. want reverb so bad <laughs> just to be able to throw it in whenever I choose, and right. I don't get it. Uh, uh, so, Jeremy, a rejected title for the American classic Moby Dick. Chasing the blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Of course. All right. Last question. What's the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google? Uh, anything about flat Earth. Yeah. I'm sure they're just like, look, we didn't think much of the American public. Yeah. But we've, we've, we've got drones now. You can get high enough to see curves. Believe it or not, though, those flat mooners. Yeah, flat that's moon. that's my conspiracy. Ooh, we only ever see the one side. The Earth is round. The Moon is flat. flat. They landed on it. You can't land on a round surface. You'll fall over. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, so you're saying that they're Truman showing us? They're just showing us the one side of the Moon. They, they, every every time around. you see it, they yeah. talk about being tidally locked. No, it's flat. <laughs> they literally talk about the other side of the moon mm-hmm. and how it's the dark side and it's like it's impossible to see or get to. No, yeah, it's just, it that, doesn't that, exist. That yeah, it doesn't right exist. There. The moon only has one side. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's flat, it's got another side. Nah, not really. Unless, get, get off my conspiracy theory. What's on the other side? <laughs> dark. Uh, dark. Let's see. It's just dark. All right, I got, uh, I got one here. Uh, let's see. I went with... Uh, Googling, how do blind people know when to stop wiping? Okay. Yeah. Just smelling your fingers. I don't I, <laughs> I don't think they're tired of that. They're like, <laughs> how do they? <laughs> That's how they discover yeah. that they're into ass play. Thought, they just keep wiping, and they're like, you know what? Oh, my. I thought, I, I thought a whole bunch of people did this. Do I just start Googling random yeah. shit in the middle of the night when I'm fucking bored? When your oh. wife's out there dressing the dogs, and you're just like, fucking, oh, I guess like, I'm just going to learn something. Fucker. Like, how do they <laughs> know to stop wiping? I bet you they're assholes raw. How about you, Jeremy? How many fists, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> then whatever it suggests. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. I've got an unanswerable question about fists, and I want <laughs> the world to let me know. That's right. What Fist, the question world is. record, question mark. That's right. <laughs> Has there been one yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, now we get to move on to uh, your, y'all's favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the draft. Um, last week, I think Derek won, but he fucking cheated. Yeah. <laughs> so on his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so then he is automatically disqualified. Yep. Um, but uh, that would mean, uh, as always, our guest gets very first pick. Uh, I came in dead last, so I forfeit that first pick, and so I get the middle pick. And uh, Jeremy Joseph kind of won. Sort of. Mm-hmm. So he gets the championship picks this week. But I won at fantasy football, so fuck them. <laughs> anyway. Ride uh, that horse as long as you can. As long as I can all year long. I don't care. It says one Eat it. thing. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, this week's draft is going to be terrible New Year's resolutions. Where we get to make a list of the ones we don't like at all. And uh, Eric, you get the very first pick. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a classic, okay? Because uh, I feel like the classics are usually the most uh, the most popular mm-hmm. and go the way. Uh, this year, I'm going to get in shape slash take better care of myself. Oh, because we all know. So that's you're just not the lose the lbs. Get some some sort of whatever causes you to buy a membership. Or a meal plan. That, that that's the thing. It's, like, it's is it a gym membership? Yeah. Something, okay. Like if you're going to wait until January to do it, you're not gonna do it. Yeah. yeah. Make you've got to set attainable goals, and apparently, being beautiful is not that one. So, yeah. Damn it. I kind of I kind of wanted that one to be honest with you. That's why it's the first overall pick. I mean, oh, mother fucker. All right. I think um, I'm going to go shit. Oh, that's really All right. Um, no, right no. on the pause it, I guess. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I do not expect that to no. throw such a wrench in the thing. I don't think I, I – I this one would be pretty tough, but uh, I would definitely do it. And that's why I don't want to take it. But I'm going to take uh, – delete all of your social media accounts. So I mean, it sounds like a good idea. It sounds like a really good idea, but you're not gonna fucking do it. I think I may have missed the point of this because <laughs> I no. thought we were just making up. Can't wait to see. Oh come on, no, this is this is how you win the draft. If it makes you feel any better. I just I'm going off the top of the door. Right. Yeah. I did not prepare for this. Uh, nope, either. neither did I. I'm looking. I'm well, looking obviously, up stuff. If, no, I'm sure, looking if stuff. Gym up. membership was yeah three for such a loop. Jeremy, okay. uh, take up smoking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Smoke Don't, more. Mm-hmm. It's going to make you real cool, but you're going to have less time to be cool. Oh, yeah. You're going to look tough for sure. Yeah. You just and can't, like, <coughs> yeah. yeah. You got to, before you smoke in front of your friends, you got to take a few practice puffs at home for a couple of weeks. Make sure you can take in the tobacco. Now, like, I, now I see how this draft is working. Now we're, now we're on a roll. Now I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like me trying to, Take a shot of whiskey and look tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. um, uh, take up waterboarding. Start Water, waterboarding. Water, start waterboarding. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm okay. Look, I'm not in the best shape, but I'm a big, strong man. And I feel like at least 70% of the people I encounter in life, I could overpower mm-hmm. and just pour water on their face. Right. Sometimes you've got enemies and sure. you need answers. What better way? You know, I'm I am I'm getting this. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm understanding the draft now. I'm gonna go with. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I changed the rules. You did. Changed the rules midstream. <laughs> you did. Uh, so I'm gonna pick. Uh, drink more alcohol. So I'm gonna go with okay. that one. I don't feel like that's so much a, a resolution to make that's as cool. much as a, a, a voice in the back of your head. Yeah. That just doesn't care about totally your life and family. Yeah. So. How about uh, you get two in a row? Oh, two in a row. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. I don't. I don't know whether to go to go real or faux now because you guys. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with my first gut okay. and I'm gonna go real. I feel like. I feel like. Uh, 
anybody who makes a New Year's resolution about like going back to school. Oh, like going back to college? Yeah, like okay. going like if you're again similar lines along the first one, but like Tina, if that first profession that you picked was not the one for you, I don't think going to school for a few years, okay. taking out potentially loans, yeah, and everything like that, it's not going to fix. Like, go to a trade school. Stay away from the state schools. Sure. And the stuff like What's that. What's your next one? And, and don't be a hairdresser. <laughs> you're just going to listen to That's, people. If you're going to if you're gonna have to deal with people and their problems and them talking your ear off, be a bartender. You'll get tips. I don't think people true. tip their hair. Or a therapist. Enough. Therapist. Yeah. You ever, you ever slide your therapist a 20 after? You know what? That was a good one. Here's, every, every time. <laughs> every time. But that's I, after the blow. I put it in my mouth. <laughs> uh, third, you got next one. You got one more. Um. Next one I feel like is, uh, I think is one that should at this point probably, um, should probably be taken, should be taken up by one of our friends uh, here, but uh, changing your sports allegiance because uh, they are too much of a loser. And Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like, I feel like somebody should probably change a few things in their life. Okay. Well, you you might. I doubt it. As I stroke. Highly doubt it. He hates the Bears right now, though, so it's okay. I mean, good. He just, <laughs> You're he talking wants about the guy who that. won the contest, right? Yeah. That guy. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't say I was rooting for myself sure. the whole time. I knew I was going to lose. <laughs> you intentionally tanked just so you'd have something. <laughs> yeah. If he would have gone two more seconds, I would have won. <laughs> my team's, my team's going to win a Super Bowl this year, so I'll let Look, you have this. I'm ready to be hurt again. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and um, um, become single. <laughs> yeah that's not a good one get away from that bitch wife <laughs> or that drunk husband that's Just right go for it yeah you're 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 better than this i, I feel I, i'm not even gonna lie if i if i read my list backwards this is a, a prediction of how my fucking year of 2022 is gonna pretty much happen i'm gonna get divorced uh drink a shitload of alcohol and have to delete myself off of all social media well once you if the next time you make fun of those dog costumes it's definitely gonna end oh, up that yeah. way all right yeah you had opportunity for a company to send you free jewelry and <laughs> you got a belt for yourself rather than maybe a but nice at least tennis his balls bracelet are bald. Or, sure it doesn't matter it's, <laughs> it's still so fucking cool jeremy you get two i'm sure she thinks so too that guy clapping in the cheerleading section whoo sorry him? that hot huh <laughs> <laughs> Woo! no 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 he would become single to fuck <laughs> that guy <laughs> how about you jeremy um uh get better at getting fingerprinted oh yeah fingerprint talents right finger paint printed oh, okay get arrested more often is what i'm saying okay do things that are gonna get you fingerprinted oh all right so that they don't even need to take your fingers you can just do it yourself Okay. I brought my own ink. You want to be yeah. that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I got I'm going to save you guys on some office supplies here. <laughs> Wabow. Well, I got this, go. Sheriff. <laughs> um, Those are the most crisp fingerprints we've seen in this precinct <laughs> no, in shit. so many years. <laughs> That's impressive. Dave smudges the fuck out of him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, learn, learn to AIDS quilt. To what? To AIDS quilt. AIDS quilt? Yeah. I make... Learn how to quilt, but specifically AIDS quilt. <laughs> so, so it's not learn how to like quilt while being deathly sick. No, well, oh. I mean, it could be. I mean, I'd, either or. There's, there's no rule that says you can't make an AIDS quilt while having is, AIDS. Is, is AIDS quilting? Is that like Kleenex is to tissues? It's just like you can make it about whatever you want, but it's sure. called AIDS quilt, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, I think I so. Just, yeah. I just want to know the parameters. Um. Okay. All right. Trying to go backwards is the shitty 2022 that I'm going to have. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go with a, a new one here. I'm going to go develop a meth addiction. All right. It, it's a pretty easy one to probably do. I heard it's very easy. I feel like it's one of those, it's a Pringle situation. Once yeah, you pop, you just can't, you can't stop, stop no matter it, how yeah. much your friends and Keep family going. and priests yeah. would like you to. And honestly, Correct. why would you want to? Why would you want to stop? When I mean, who you needs teeth? how much teeth? weight you would lose? Yeah, that's true. Who needs teeth and extra weight and, and you, family and friends? You and don't have to brush anymore. You develop that that meth habit, Scotty. You could probably get back into that jersey. You probably yeah. could. I probably just could. Just like slim that face down. Mm-hmm. And, oh, yeah. 
Um, and last uh, two picks there, Von Riker. Um, with my first one, I'm going to go with uh, Forget a Language. Okay. Oh. Yeah. If you only speak one, fuck it. You're mute now. <laughs> I, I think that would be really good. You know what? I'm surprised that that should have been my second pick. I'm, I'm glad I got it in the fourth. It's a steal. Yeah. Diamond in the rough. But <laughs> yeah. I feel like, because if you forget a language, you know what? That takes care of delete social. You're not going to be talking to anybody no, anyway. Exactly. No, Meth good. addiction. Might as well. Yeah. Who are you talking to? So like, I feel like you should forget a language this year. Right, right, right. It's probably a good one. Um, Next one. Next one. Hmm. That's last one, actually. Last one, very last one. Got to make it. Got to. This is my yeah, Mister Irrelevant. This is your crescendo. Crescendo. Um, you know what? I'm gonna say. I, you know, I'm I'm forgetting the format because we've kind of gone over over the. Is, we're supposed to pick bad ones. Yeah, terrible ones. Yeah. Terrible ones. Okay. Yeah, I guess forgetting a language would be a bad one. Yeah. Um, yeah. It sure would. You know, just commit more crimes. Uh, you okay. I feel like there are not enough. Like mild mannered, good people out there committing crimes, and you know, I like feel like petty crimes. Yeah. Okay. All you know, right. You know, you know, petty crimes, uh, smug crimes. Okay. Um, any sort of like feeling that you can have toward a person, develop a crime about it, mm-hmm. and that's probably that's probably a way to go. Okay. So yeah, do more crime. Uh, I've I've thought about this quite a lot. Um. I'm going to. That's why uh, it's his last pick. It's my last so pick. Much time this thinking is, about this it. This is my there. last last one. I'm I'm, uh, I'm gonna say this is a really bad one. Don't ever do this. But uh, learn how to race unicycles. Like, Jeez. yeah. In like, order to race them, that means you got to know how to ride one. How to ride one? No. See, see, this is this is where my abstract brain was going. I thought he was going to teach unicycles. No. To race each other. No. That would be far more impressive. No, race on a unicycle. Why that do we got to bring race into it? I don't know. But I think that would be an absolute worthless fucking skill, and uh, you'd win every race because no one else would be stupid enough else to fucking compete wants to do in this it. competition. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, so that's, that's solid. solid. Not that's in solid. the unicycle community, <laughs> it would be a big deal. <laughs> Somewhere there's those a- three dudes would fucking <laughs> love you. <laughs> There's there's some fucker out there with uh, two legs and no arms who's just pissed right now. Just James, Steve, and Brian. They're gonna fucking they're gonna be standing on the sidelines rooting for you as you're racing nobody. Yep, that's right. Around that track, but he's gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna fly. He's gonna stumble and fall, and then, and then he's gonna I'll, fix himself and go after it again. But I'll win, and I'll buy myself another belt. <laughs> so there you go, Jeremy. Um, Fuck, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I threw him off with the unicycle one. <laughs> Learn yo-yo tricks. <laughs> Learn yo-yo tricks? Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a solid one. I mean, if it's anything... Uh, okay, I've told you a story about growing up, how we had a, a full-size pinball machine uh-huh. that was given to us, and I got really good at playing pinball. I could go to... I mean, basically, all pinball machines work off the same basic principles right Right. and so i could go into any arcade and get onto any pinball machine and basically take the high score which i still maintain is why i got so much pussy (laughs) okay pinball pussy that's the Mm, that's the good shit that's the good shit that's rita who just hangs out by the bar and watches you oh yeah Yeah. (laughs) sure she's got a hole in her neck but that's just more fun to have you know (laughs) It's great. <laughs> she's got that grace voice that reminds you of your dad. Yeah, it's, that's right. She's a real sexy lady. Uh, hey, State is kicking the shit out of LSU right now, and they just got a turnover. You're just going to fucking jinx it. Wait, wait till you look at the final sto- or <laughs> score of right. everybody tonight. Turns out we've brought in a special guest coach, Andy Reid. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lead, and he's going to sit on it that's like right. much like he does his fat ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I will put the uh, uh, everybody's lists up on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Use the corresponding emoji to vote for your favorite list of t- Terrible New York New Year's resolutions, and uh, whoever wins uh, next week gets championship picks. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. What happens if I win? I think Derek's going to vote for you f- twice. That's probably what's so, going to happen. So, so you do, but um, make it make the the picture of me have all my Packers stuff. So he has to choose to fair, vote for fair. a Packers fan. That's fair. You got to like, send me a picture. Very Packers fan. Oh, I can send you a perfect one. Perfect. One. All right, In guys. Fact, do they make a cheese head emoji? Uh, no, they don't. But they oh. have a cheese emoji. Yeah, they got cheese emojis. Yeah. They have do, that be his emoji. You can't, Just like, you can't click it on Facebook. There's no cheese Facebook 
Oh, like, it's one of the official. Yeah, it's one of the official face ones. things. Yeah, no, it sucks. Yeah. Fuck face. But anyways, guys, uh, this, is, this is officially the worst day of my life. Shut up. <laughs> now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on the night of December 2nd, 1984 in Bhopal, India, the Union Carbide Pesticide Plant, which was in violation of over 60 different safety violations, um, sprung a leak, uh, if you can believe that. In the middle of the <laughs> night... Um, the plant basically filled the air with methyl isocyanite, which sounds worse than it is. <laughs> Actually, no, it's much worse than it sounds. <laughs> um, yeah, and because it was located on the edge of the city, uh, that's it's a very poor city, so there was a lot of open-air shanty towns. Oh. And so basically, as people slept, they breathed in this very deadly substance. Um by the end of the night, uh, the death toll came to 2,259 people, as, as well as hundreds of thousands more having permanent health issues. But luckily, by 1991, the uh, Union Carbide Pesticide Company paid out a nice settlement of uh, over $450 million, which, after legal fees, left everyone with about $800 each. <laughs> oh, God. In compensation. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, roaches check in. They don't check out. <laughs> <laughs> Is it... Is it harder to say the name of that chemical or to breathe while inhaling it? Isocyanite is kind of a, a weird thing to say. Wasn't there a little meth in there? Methyl? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, methyl isocyanite. Methyl um, isocyanite. Which, uh, yeah, is uh, basically methylene, which they use to make crystal meth with. Right. Uh, isopropyl alcohol and cyanide. Oh, the, good. The actual cyanide. Cool. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's the, the part that, that the, kills yeah, you. Yeah. I think it's all together. It's and and I'm going to assume that it probably speeds you up while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. So you feel real good <laughs> sure. right before you don't. All Got right. a lot of energy when you die. Right. Uh, so this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is, would you rather let your dog pick your wardrobe for a month or you have to watch the National Cup Stacking Championships instead of this year's NFL playoffs? You don't get to see a game. Not a second. Not a second. Do you get to watch the highlights? I guess we didn't discover that. Nope. No highlights? You you can nope. watch the highlights of the cup stacking You're over in the again. dark. You don't even get to know who won. Yeah. <laughs> you, find, you find out somehow the Chicago Bears make the playoffs by some ridiculous way, and they win the Super Bowl. You go to work, and it turns out all your coworkers just want to talk cup stacking. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the solo cups in little Timmy's hands? He was flying around. Yeah, he was fast. Yeah. Like some football player I can't think of for some reason. <laughs> uh, I I am going to watch them cup stacking championships. I love football, but if my dog was able to pick my wardrobe with any kind of intelligence whatsoever, he'd be a little shit. See, I <laughs> he'd hate me. Now, you have two dogs, which, by I the do. way, I like one of them. I know. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say which one. That's cool. Uh, he knows who he is. Yeah. He likes half of each of them. No. But it's the back half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got nice poopers. Cup stacking, here I come. Um, um, how about you, Eric? Well, I know after a good almost 10 years of owning my dog, I know that my dog loves me. You're so full of shit. That he cherishes me. No, he doesn't. That he would sooner I uh, be happy in this world than miss one single second of Packers uh, playoffs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with m let my dog wear or pick my wardrobe. Plus, I don't really give a shit. You should see the fucking shoes I'm wearing right now. I don't care. Yeah, that's true. About what I wear. So Dude, I'm gonna you hard up for cash. There's a stipulation <laughs> I think that we should go with, especially just for his. That if the Packers lose. He has to watch like that on replay. Watch cup stacking? No, 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 no. The Packers losing because he's picking the he's picking the dog picking the wardrobe so he can watch the 
football playoffs. Oh, okay. If uh, if the Packers lose, he's got to watch that game on replay. Well, for okay. Week. If we, I mean, if this was part of the thing beforehand, like I would rather <laughs> don't think too much into it. I'm I would rather kidding. not be aware of the Packers winning a championship, but them actually winning the championship. I'd rather have like that weird selective amnesia. Sure. That I would be okay with that. Okay. How about you, Jeremy, down there? Oh, I'm having the dog pick out my wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got owned, I got a lot of bitching at Andy Reid to do. <laughs> I, I own jeans, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and that's jerseys. pretty much it. Yeah, jerseys. Oh, he's gonna pick my fucking <laughs> my K State jersey over my Chiefs jersey. He's, Big whoop. <laughs> he's he's gonna have me wear a Chiefs jersey with a K State undershirt. That's the worst that could possibly happen. A royal, me. A royal uh, yeah. button up with my Chiefs pajamas. That's okay. Fair. God dang it. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one watching them cup stackers. I think we goes, should de- dedicate the entire next episode to cup stacking. Okay. I can and do that. only talk cup stacking. Okay. We I'm could probably do help. that. Find some highlight reels of some kids. <laughs> Cup stacking TikToks of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines episode. Um, do we that have would, any By show? the way, that would make a great TikTok. What? Showing kids doing the cup stacking and just, would you rather give up cheese or blowjob? Just have that <laughs> okay. over top of it. All right. Have that be the audio. Yeah, that, that'd probably little not, kids cup stack. not get taken down there. <laughs> um, uh, one thing I did want to talk about before we go, uh, obviously, I'll give you a shout out here in just a second. Uh, the sound, our sounds on TikTok, yes, they are being used. If if our logo is rolling in the bottom right hand corner, they are tagging us and they are tagging us correctly. You can comment on us and tag us in there in the comments. We see them all, um, but the assholes that are the ones that uh, don't have our logo rolling in the bottom right hand corner, those are the guys that are jacking it. And not all of them are are making it themselves. If their logo is the same, how do you know the they're sound? jacking it? They're jacking it. He's watching the videos. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're making um, <laughs> TikToks and then jacking it. But no, if our logo is rolling in the bottom right hand corner, they are tagging us correctly. That's that's the way you're supposed to do it on that app. Uh, they're not doing anything wrong. And if if they're not, fuck them. And yeah. Fuck them dry. Fuck them dry. Um, but anyways, uh, do we got? Do we have any uh, shows coming up here, Jeremy? Eric? Do you have anything? You guys are comedians. I don't. You don't. <laughs> okay. Um, I will actually. If anybody here is uh, watching this or listening, when was this come out? Actually, uh, it'll come out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. What tomorrow. Yeah. Sweet action. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, I'm going to be at the Oklahoma City Looney Bin, uh, emceeing. I believe it's five shows in all: one Wednesday, one Thursday, one Friday, two shows Saturday for Nick Griffin, a uh, very funny man. He's been oh, on. I love Nick Griffin. He's fucking hilarious. He's been on Letterman. So many times, really? and he, he has fucking been. hilarious. Yeah, Conan, Comedy Central, uh, Late Show with David Letterman. Uh, very funny guy. Uh, come check that out. Wednesday, I believe, is service industry. So if you work at a hotel, if you work at a restaurant, if you work at anything like that, bring a paycheck stub. I, th- I believe you get in free or heavily discounted. Uh, I'm sorry for not knowing. Uh, Thursdays, ladies' nights, ladies get in free. One show Friday, two shows on Saturday. Make a night of it. Come and see us down at the Oklahoma City Looney Bin. There you go. Oh, damn. They have comedy in, in uh, Oklahoma? Oh, yeah. They've got two two Looney Bins in Oklahoma, a hmm. handful of other nice. comedy situations. You know, our comedy scene here, we were talking about it last week. Um, Jeremy is apparently very, very optimistic and proud of uh, what we I said that got. earlier this episode, oh, you, you fucking freak. Sorry. Jesus. So why are you going down he to Oklahoma? He stopped listening between edits. I totally I guess. do. I totally do. <laughs> uh, but uh, go see Eric Von Riker down in Oklahoma. You, Oklahoma City? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma OKC. City. OKC. Uh, guys, thank you guys very much for uh, another great episode. Thank you for sharing the podcast. We sincerely do appreciate that. Telling your friends about the show, that helps us grow. Uh, and as always, we like to say, if you like us, do us a favor favor, and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope somebody shoots you in the left nut with a paintball gun. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until <laughs> next time... Nothing runs like a deer. <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Go no